Hello, thank you for calling Tingle Travels. If you know your party's extension, you may enter it at any time. To book a trip with one of our travel experts, press 1. Fly me to the moon, let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. Hello, and thank you for calling Tingle Travels. My name is Lauren, and I'll be your travel specialist today. Are you calling about one of our 10% off vacations to Italy? Oh, fantastic. Okay. Yep, we can definitely look into those options for you. We have some fantastic Italian vacations. Now, first off, are you looking at one particular area, or um, looking to book a travel package with multiple cities? Sure. Okay. So we are looking for multiple cities, but you want to spend some time in Rome? Okay. Yeah, it's a great city. You're going to have a fantastic time. Um, and are you looking for a full itinerary of tours and activities, or do you prefer to organize activities on your own? Okay. Well, for a lot of our European vacations, we do offer the option of taking place as part of a tour group. Um, so, if it were you and your family, or you and your partner, and not a full group, you would be placed as part of a group, you'd have a private room, but you'd have the option of taking part in all of the group activities, like tours and other things. Okay. Um, we also have the option of doing an individualized tour. Um, so it would just be you and your partner or family, but, um, it would be organized for you with different cities and tours, uh, more personalized. Okay. So we can definitely look into some of the tours for you. And how many people are traveling with us? Okay. And is that just you and a partner or would there be children? Fantastic. Yep, the reason I ask is because we do have some tours specifically for families with children, but um, we can look at other options for you. Will you be needing airfare included? Okay. Yep, we can definitely look at packages for that. And what is your budget looking like? Do you have an estimate? Okay. Yeah, so we're pretty flexible. Perfect. So I can look at a couple of different levels for you to see um, what might be the best fit. We do have more basic but still fantastic vacations, and then we do have true luxury experiences, so maybe we can look at a couple in different price ranges. And what dates are you looking to travel? Okay. And for what period of time? Okay, so... 10 to 14 days-ish. No more than 14. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, some of the tours can be up to 20 days, so we'll definitely narrow that down a little bit. And did you have a preference whether to travel as part of a group or on your own? Yeah, there are some benefits to each, so traveling as part of a group can be more affordable, but Traveling on your own in a tour um, can offer a more personalized experience, so we can look at both. Okay, now I'm going to read a list of activities that we can prioritize for your vacation, and I'd like you to tell me how important it would be to include them. So, we have experiencing local culture. Um, staying active. Yeah, some of the tours do require quite a bit of walking, so that's good if that is um, comfortable for you. Sightseeing and visiting historical sites on your own. Okay. Sightseeing and visiting historical sites as part of a guided tour. So we'll definitely make sure that anything you choose has a mix of um, 
days where you can kind of do your own thing and days where you have things set up for you. Alright, and enjoying local food and drinks. Okay. Yeah, and I do know we have some options for add-ons for um, cooking classes and stuff, so that might be great for you. Yeah. Alright, and um, experiencing the nightlife. Okay. Fantastic. So, let me just go ahead and pull up some of the best options that fit within those parameters. Do you mind if I place you on a brief hold? Okay, I will be right back. In other words, hold my hand. In other words, baby, kiss me. Fill my heart with song and let me sing forevermore. You are all I long for, all I worship and adore. Okay, thank you so much for holding. So, I have come up with six potential options for you. Um, if none of these work, we can look for something else, but I think you'll be very happy with some of these choices. So, I have three options that would place you as part of a group, and three that are more of a luxury, individualized experience. Um, the prices range anywhere from $2,400 to $13,000 per person. So, why don't we go ahead and start on the lower end of the spectrum. Um, still very nice vacations, but a little bit more budget-friendly anyway. So, the first one I have is, um, nine days. It is Italy, uh, Naples, Sorrento, and Rome. So, those would be the main cities that you'd be in, Naples, Sorrento, and Rome. This one, um, it's about 2400 per person. And uh, where are you flying out of? Oh, okay, perfect. Yeah. New York City. That's fantastic because that is one of the travel hubs. So, um, you wouldn't incur any extra fees with your flight. Sometimes if you're flying out of a smaller city and then you have to catch a connecting flight, that does add to the expense, but that's perfect. So, again, this one is nine days, Naples, Sorrento, and Rome. You have the Rome in there that you wanted. And um, it says, this isn't just a trip, it's a leap into the Italian way of life. <laughs> Get caught up in the energetic pace of Naples and uncover incredible history, um, including Pompeii, the legendary town frozen in time. Then slow down while making your way along the Amalfi Coast back in charming Sorrento before ending your tour in legendary Rome. Whether it's for Neapolitan pizza, stunning seascapes, or ancient ruins, come hungry for all that this region has to offer. So, this tour includes um, seven nights in hand-picked hotels, seven breakfasts, three dinners with beer or wine, three sightseeing tours, oh no, I'm sorry, five sightseeing tours, expert tour director and local guides, and private deluxe motor coach. Um, any meals that are not included as part of that, you would be able to sort of do your own thing and explore local cuisine. Some of the highlights are the National Archaeological Museum, the Pompeii Ruins, uh, Amalfi Coast, Madonina Viewpoint, Monte Cassino, Colosseum, and the Roman Forum. So, sounds like fun. Um, so let's see, you start in Naples, um, head down to the Sorrento Peninsula, the Amalfi Coast, and Pompeii, and then head up to Rome. Um, first day is a travel day, that is overnight flight, and, um, on the second day you arrive in Naples. You have the day to sort of settle in. Um, if you want to do something, you can do that on your own. And then you meet your tour director and fellow travelers at the welcome dinner. The next day is a sightseeing tour of Naples. That includes breakfast. Um, let's see. 
Day four is Sorrento Peninsula via Pompeii, and that includes breakfast and dinner. Um, day five is a free day on the Sorrento Peninsula, so that includes breakfast, and then you have the day to explore. Um, there is an optional excursion you can add, which is Capri, a day on the iconic island, for an additional $115. Day six is a sightseeing tour of the Amalfi Coast, and it includes breakfast. Um, you also have the option to add a farmhouse dinner and wine tasting excursion. And day seven is um, Rome, so you'll be uh, arriving in Rome via Monte Cassino. And um, you do have the option to add a Rome home hosted dinner. Uh, and Eight, um, sightseeing tour of Rome, which includes breakfast and a farewell dinner. Day nine is your departure. Now, uh, the only issue with um, this is that I know you said anywhere from 10 to 14 days, and um, this is a little bit shorter than your desired length. Uh, so, is that something you're interested in? You actually have the option of adding two extra days in Rome. So, day 10 would be, um, sorry, day 9 and day 10 would both be free days in Rome with optional excursions. There are not tours on those days. Okay. Yeah, why don't we look at something that's a little bit longer then, if we want some more um, days with guided tours and more options. That gives me a much better idea. Thank you. Alright, so I did have one other that was nine days, so I'm going to go ahead and eliminate that now, and we can come back to it if none of the others um, suit your preferences, okay? Alright. So I think this might be more um, what you're looking for. This is 12 days, Venice, Florence, and Rome. Okay. Um, so it says three legendary cities, one incredible tour. Try as you may, it's impossible to choose a favorite among Venice, Florence, and Rome. Each city is unique in its own right, with distinctive flavors, sights, and sounds. Float along Venice's meandering canals, gain new respect for the Renaissance masters in Florence, walk in the footsteps of the ancients in Rome, and eat like a king or queen no matter where you are. So, this store package includes 10 nights in hand-packed hotels, 10 breakfasts, 3 dinners with beer or wine, 4 sightseeing tours, expert tour director and local guides, private deluxe motor coach. And some of the highlights include St. Mark's Basilica, uh, Ponte Vecchio, world-famous Italian cuisine, of course, uh, Orvieto, the Roman Forum, the Colosseum. So those are just the highlights. So the itinerary, um, the first day is again an overnight flight. This one will be to Venice. On day two, you arrive in Venice, have a chance to settle in at your hotel before the welcome dinner with the group. Um, day three is a sightseeing tour of Venice with breakfast. You also have the option of an excursion, so it could be a gondola ride or a private gondola ride for two. Uh, day four is a free day in Venice, and that includes breakfast. And you can add an excursion if you'd like, which is the islands of the Venetian Lagoon. Um, day five is a transfer to Florence and a sightseeing tour. That includes breakfast and dinner. Day six is a free day in Florence, including breakfast. So you do have the option of adding another um, excursion there, which is seeing the Tuscan hill towns. Very beautiful. Day seven is another free day in Florence. That includes breakfast, and you can add um, excursions including the Leaning Tower of Pisa and Academia Gallery. And then finally, um, you arrive in Rome on day eight. Included breakfast. Uh, and day nine is a sightseeing tour of Rome, with breakfast included. 
you have also have the option of adding a Rome cooking class and dinner, so that might be really fun if the food is interesting to you. Yeah, okay. Um, that one is $85 per person. Yeah, not too bad considering it's also a meal. Um, day 10 is a free day in Rome with breakfast. There is the option of adding an excursion, which is um, iconic sites, Vatican City. And um, day 11 is another free day in Rome with breakfast and the farewell dinner. Day 12 is your departure. So if you did want to extend this, you could add an additional three days in the Sorrento Peninsula. Um, so that's Sorrento Peninsula via Pompeii includes breakfast on day 12. Day 13 is a free day on the Sorrento Peninsula. You can add Capri um, and a rustic Italian farmhouse dinner. Day 14 would be a free day on the Sorrento Peninsula again with breakfast and an optional excursion to see the scenic Amalfi Coast. And day 15 is your departure. So that might be a very good option. The price for this is um, 3300 without the additional days. Okay, so that sounds interesting to you. Yeah, um, we can keep that in mind. And you want to talk about some of the um, personal tours? Okay. So the first one I was going to discuss with you is also just nine days. Um, Best of Rome, Florence, and Venice. Okay, yeah, we can, um, you know what? I think we can actually add a day to that because it's more personalized. Would you like to talk about it? And maybe we can add a free day if it's something you're interested in? Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the itinerary. Um, so day one, it's arriving in Rome. Um, there's a meet and greet at the airport and an Italy welcome package. You do not have a group dinner because this isn't part of a group. Um, day two, you see the signature sites in style where it's a personal private tour of ancient and imperial Rome with the Colosseum and Forum. That's three hours. You have the rest of the day to do as you please. Day three is Rome to Florence. So, um, you will be taking a train in premium class. Day four is Florence, where you get to stroll through the magical streets on a walking tour with the Academia Gallery, three hours. Day five is Florence again, and it's a half day wine discovery walk with lunch and wine tastings. Yeah, that does sound, that sounds really fun. Um, day six, Florence to Venice, a change of scenery. Uh, so, again, you go to the train station, you have a private vehicle to get there. This time it'll just be standard class, two hours, and um, you'll be met at the train station again. Um, and this time you will take a water taxi to your destination. In the evening, you'll have a classic evening gondola ride. It's a 30 minute private ride. Day seven is a Venice Explore with an Expert, so you'll have a classic Venice walking tour. It's a private tour for two hours. Day eight um, would be the day that you leave, but we do have the option of adding a couple of days to any of the cities on the list, so we could add to either Rome, Florence, or Venice. Okay, yeah. So we also have some optional activities. In Rome, we have a private cooking lesson and market experience with lunch. That actually takes up quite a bit of the day. It's five to six hours. We have La Dolce Vita by Vespa in Rome. Be fun to get to ride around on a Vespa. Um, in Florence, you can do a uh, biking tour of castles. Um, and in Venice, we have Row Like a Venetian. I think you get the experience of maybe piloting a gondola. Okay. Yeah. 
Do you want to talk a little bit about the accommodations for this one? Because for the other tours, they don't tell us exactly what hotels. Um, they are at least three-star hotels that you're staying in, but for these more private and personalized ones, they do say exactly where you'll be staying. Okay, so in Rome, it'll be the uh, Lux Rose Garden Hotel, Superior Room. It's located in the Via Vittorio Veneto in Rome, and it's um, been chosen as one of Condé Nast's top cities, Rome, of course. Uh, this is only 45 minutes away from Fiumicino Airport. The property is within walking distance to some of Rome's most famous landmarks, including the Spanish Steps. This historical property is situated in the heart of the city center and features elegantly designed guest rooms and contemporary and spacious suites. Feasts like royalty with menus that feature delicious Italian delicacies and international specialties. Uh, the hotel also has a garden area hosting beautiful floral compositions. So, it's definitely a more luxury experience. Beautiful hotel. Florence, you'll be at the Florologia Hotel. Um, and that is just in the heart of Florence. It's a short stroll away from important monuments such as the Duomo, the Basilica of Santa Maria Novella, and the Medici chapels. Uh, the concept of the hotel is inspired by prestigious international autorologie and particular by the world of collective vintage watches. It's very interesting. The interior design pays an extreme attention to detail, providing bold sensory experience to guests. Guest rooms are comfortable and full of character and offer various cityscape views. So again, um, very beautiful hotel extremely luxurious. And in Venice, you would be at the Palazzo Sant'Angelo. With its unique vintage flair and Venetian fashion, Palazzo Sant'Angelo will capture the sense of time traveling in Venice. Its location sits right in front of the famous Grand Canal, making every morning a perfect stroll among the picturesque Venetian scene. This elegantly restored hotel welcomes guests with an entrance of palladian pavement, warm hues, and an old stone fireplace. The suites feature stunning vistas and waters of the lagoon, the lush garden, or a quaint Venetian side street. Start your morning at the cozy breakfast room and evenings at the hotel bar. So this one is um really, really nice as well. Um, Sort of, like they said, that time-traveling experience, definitely more old-world-looking, but very luxurious. So those would be the three hotels. Is uh, this looking like something you might be interested in? Okay. Okay, yeah. So, leaning more towards maybe the private tours and that more luxury experience. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and um, take a look at the next one. Now, this is a bit of a price jump. This starts at $11,600 per person, but it is 14 days, and it's the Italy Grand Tour, so it includes Rome, Naples, Sorrento, Florence, Milan, and Venice. Okay? Um, let's see. You will explore Rome, Sorrento, Florence, Milan, and Venice on privately guided tours by foot, uh, private car, and gondola. Relax amid the serene surroundings of the Italian Lake District and stunning vistas of the Amalfi Coast. Stand before Michelangelo's David, Da Vinci's Last Supper, and other stunning works of art. Enjoy private wine tastings and delicious Tuscan cuisine in Siena and San Gimigiano. Stay at a hand-picked selection of premium accommodations. So, again, this is a truly luxury experience. And the itinerary, um, so day one is arrival in Rome. You are again met at the airport and uh, you receive a welcome package. Day two is a private walking tour, three hours. Day three is, um, seeing the sites of Rome, including the Vatican Museum, Forum, and Colosseum, seven hours. Again, this is private. 
day four is um, traveling to Naples um, and you are driven to the train station and it is a one hour and ten minute um, excuse me, business class uh, trip to Naples and then to Sorrento for one hour uh, and day five is Sorrento where you have a scenic drive along the Amalfi Coast seven hours, it's private of course you will stop for a nice lunch day six is Sorrento all aboard <laughs> morning at leisure and an optional excursion to Capri which would be self-guided day seven is uh, a trip to Florence so you will take another train um, business class and it goes to Naples and then to Florence you have the option of stopping at Naples and um, day eight is Florence a journey back in time walking tour with the Academia Gallery for three hours day nine is Florence taste and tipple on a vineyard visit so um, that's going to be a tasting and lunch and that's a very long day nine and a half hours however where this is your own personalized experience you can cut that down as you see fit day 10 is Florence to Milan a change of scenery so again you are traveling by train business class and in Milan you will take part of a city tour with the Last Supper painting and the Scala Theater it's a three-hour private tour day 11 you will get to see the sights of Milan including a Cobo and Bellagio excursion private tour day 12 you are traveling to Venice um, so you will be picked up in Venice with a water taxi and take part in a classic Venice walking tour for two hours and this also includes the evening gondola ride uh, day 13 is Venice hidden gems so you have a Murano and Verano tour private tour and day 14 is um, departure day so, so you do have the option of the excursions that I listed for the previous trip but um, additionally you have romantic dinner at Mirabel in Rome, a half-day fashion tour in Milan, cakes, coffee, and ice cream in Venice, that's another tour, and Chianti by night, a dinner and wine tasting private tour in Florence. So those are some uh, excursions that you can add on. Okay. And um, do either of those sound preferable to you? Okay. Now, um, I do have one more option, um, and it is sort of an even more luxury experience. The price on this one is also a little bit higher, starting at 13000 per person. It is 10 days, and if you're very interested in the food, this is a gastronomic journey through Italy. So this is... Uh, Florence, Montalcino, Bologna, and Milan. This one does not include Rome, but it can be added. Is this one you even want to hear about because it doesn't stock include Rome? Okay, yeah, we can definitely still talk about it. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, from Bologna, experience the gastronomy of Emilia Romagna with a private guide a vineyard visit and wine tasting in Tuscany cook with a chef during a private cooking class in Florence discover the highlights of Florence and Milan with a private guide and of course luxury accommodations throughout oh you know I didn't talk about the uh, accommodations for the other but um, they would be the same for Rome and let's see uh, Florence Let's see, I'm just making sure that there's not a difference here. Rome, Florence, and Venice would all be the same, but um, adding Milan, you're going to be at Star Hotel's Rosa Grant. It's situated in the Milan city center, um, the historic district. Refurbished interior exudes Italian craftsmanship. Uh, Dine at Roses by Italy. 
<laughs> that's cute with its contemporary twist on classic style so this one also offers a wellness center with a Turkish bath and solarium yeah okay so let's go back to the um, gastronomic journey so for this one day one you arrive in Florence same thing you greet it and you get a welcome package Day two is Florence, Lay of the Land, so you have a walking tour with the Academia Gallery and a half-day balsamic vinegar taste testing with a local expert. Yeah, it's really interesting. Um, I think probably they would provide bread with it. Um, yeah. Day three is Florence Creative Cuisine, so you would have a cooking class at the Chef, uh, Chef Laura's home with dinner. It's four hours, and that's, um, let's see, nope, that's included. Day four is Florence de Montalcino, a dazzling drive. So that one is a private drive, um, and you do have a, an optional activity at the Castiglione del Bosco. Um, day five is Montalcino, vineyards and vintages where you will visit um, the Ornolea Winery, uh, so you also have lunch there. Day six is uh, Montalcino Pedal Through the Past, so it's a biking tour, again, guided, uh, private, seven hours. You will not be biking the whole time, you'll stop for meals and stuff, and uh, sightseeing. Day seven is Travel to Bologna, and that is, again, a private drive, so no train. Day 8, Bologna Pound the Pavement, so it's a walking tour. Um, only 2.5 hours, so you do have the option of adding other excursions that day. Day 9 is Bologna Gourmet Delights, so that's an elite uh, gastronomy in the heart of the Emilia Romagna with lunch and tastings. Day 10, you travel to Milan, again by um, private car, city tour with your final supper, and uh, day 11 is Milan shop, shop the shops, <laughs> um, half day fashion tour in Milan, and then the evening you would have to yourself, and day 12 is departure, and uh, we do have the option of adding Rome to that, um, some additional activities would be the Leaning Tower of Pisa visit, Como and Bellagio with Via Mezze, that's a private tour in Milan, uh, another wine tasting in Montalcino, and exclusive sommelier private wine tasting at Dozza in Bologna, so really some great food options to add. And accommodations would be in here. Uh, Florence, a little different on this one. The Rocco Forte Hotel Savoy. It's in the heart of Florence, um, close to the renowned landmark, the Duomo. The hotel is just a short walk from the galleries in the Ponte Vecchio. The hotel's elegant decor is contemporary Italian in style, with subdued neutral tones and tasteful fabrics throughout. Each of the rooms and suites of the hotel are stylishly designed to offer comfort with exquisitely co cozy beds, classic marble, and mosaic bathrooms. The Hotel Savoy offers a fitness center, um, if you care to use it with all of the walking you'll be doing. Fantastic views of Florence. And Montalcino, you'll be at the Rosewood, which is an 800-year-old estate comprising the ruins of a castle, a medieval church, and the Borgo, a village that was once an important farming and social hub. The Borgo now forms the heart of the resort, and suites are housed within its buildings. The resort also offers villas, which have been created from restored farmhouses with antique furniture, artisanal pieces, and modern comforts. So, very, very luxury experience. There is a garden, spa, an infinity pool, and a fitness center. Two restaurants from which to choose. The rustic Osteria La Canonica 
in the understated Ristorante Campo del Draco, uh, which offers classic Tuscan and Italian cooking. It's also a historic winery and the fifth largest producer of Brunello di Montalcino. So that would be quite an experience. Um, oh, it looks like it's also um, home to a private golf club, so I don't know if that's something. Okay, yeah, probably not. Could be fun. Uh, in Bologna, you would be at the Grand Hotel Majestic, walking distance to the Piazza Migliore and the famous Dutori. The lobby, there's marble flooring, 109 rooms have a mixture of antique furniture with modern amenities, perfect blend of classic Italian style, elegance, and hospitality. Mm. Guests can enjoy a cocktail on the cozy terrace or engage in a workout in the hotel fitness center. So, some very, very nice hotels. So, do any of these sound promising? Oh, okay. Yeah. So, we can definitely do that one for you. Do you want to talk about any others? Are you pretty set with that? Okay. So, the Italy Grand Tour it is. So, we have Rome, Naples, Sorrento, Florence, Milan, and Venice. 14 days. I think you're going to be very, very happy with that. Um, now, you did seem interested in the cooking class. Do you want to add that? Okay. Yeah. Um, let me see here what day it would be good. So private cooking lessons and market experience is five to six hours, and that is in Rome. Um, we could do that on. We can do that on day two after your walking tour. Okay, so let me just put that in for day two. Um, so you'll be picked up by a private driver headed towards one of Rome's busiest local markets, the Piazza di Torrio, where your private chef will be welcoming you. You'll get the opportunity to purchase fresh vegetables and fruits together with your chef wandering around the market to experience the authentic Italian market. It's really cool. Upon your approximate one hour stay at the market, you'll be transferred by your driver toward the specialty, uh, specially equipped kitchen to first enjoy a welcome Prosecco drink You'll receive your chef hat, apron, and small towel for you to later keep as a memory of your cooking class experience. You'll be enjoying an approximate two-hour private lesson with your chef of a typical three-course meal, usually composed of pasta, a main course, and tiramisu. My favorite. You should have, um, if you have any sort of intolerances, you can inform your chef at that time, and they will make accommodations. Uh, upon completion of your cooking lesson, you will enjoy the lunch that you cooked, including wine, water, and coffee. Then you will be returned back to your hotel with a private driver. So, I think that would be really, really fun. Um, yeah, yeah, that should actually work out perfectly. So the walking tour, I believe, starts at 9 a.m. And um, right after that, maybe get back, freshen up a little bit, and we can schedule for your um, your driver to pick you up and bring you to the private chef. Okay. Um, that is an additional two hundred dollars per person. Is that acceptable? Okay. And let's see here. So. That looked really good. Um, is there anything else that you wanted to add now? Keep in mind, any of this can be added at the time, um, or any time up to when you go, and even while you're there, according to availability. Okay. Yeah, that sounds great. Um, you never know, you might be a little bit tired after all the tours, and this one does have a lot of involvement. Um, just looking for days that you have more time. Uh, day six in Sorrento. Uh, there is nothing scheduled except for an optional excursion to Capri. So that might be something to look into. Day seven is pretty packed. 
Uh, day eight is just a walking tour, so you do have some time there in Florence. Um, so it might be a really good time to do the Chianti by night tour. Oh, sure, let me pull that up and I can tell you about it. Um, Chianti by night with dinner and wine tasting. One of the best ways to really appreciate the tradition and history of this beautiful area is definitely through its flavors. Leaving from the heart of the historical town of Florence, after a 40-minute drive through the beautiful Tuscan landscape, characterized by olive groves and vineyards, with a private car and driver, this excursion will take you to the heart of Chianti. The first stop will be your local vineyard, where you will visit the winery and taste local wine and products. You'll see with your eyes how wine is produced and aged. After this experience, dinner will be served at a local restaurant, discovering the typical recipes and local products. Um, at the end of the evening, your private driver will take you back to the hotel. Uh, it includes five wine tastings and dinner, and takes about five hours. Yeah. Um, so let's see. That is $250 per person. Sure, we can go ahead and add it for you. So we'll add that to, um, let's see, what day did I say? Day eight. We'll add that to day eight. Okay. Just putting that in for you. So, so far, we have um, on day eight, that additional Chianti wine tour, and then on day two, the cooking class. Um, you might have time for an additional excursion on day 13, your last day. Yeah. Yeah, why don't we, we could wait on that, because you do have a four-hour private tour, and it might be good on that last day to maybe take it easy. But if you do want to add something while you're there, there's plenty of options, and your uh, private tour guide would be able to recommend some of the best ones to you. Okay. So, let's see. We have 11600 for the trip and flight. Um, so that is the per person price that we had talked about before. And we have the cooking lesson, and we had the Chianti wine tour. Okay. Do you mind if I put you on hold while I go ahead and put all of this in for you and we can um, make your reservation? Okay, thank you so much. Fly me to the moon, let me play among the stars Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars In other words, hold my hand In other words, baby kiss me Okay, thank you so much for holding, so go ahead and get this in here And, um now, based on the phone number you called from, you've traveled with us before, correct? Okay. Uh, can you just confirm your name for me? Okay, perfect. And the other traveler's name? Okay, yep, we do have both of you on file. Can you confirm your address? Yep, that's still what we have. And email address for the confirmation to go to? Excellent, okay. So, the total amount for the vacation, flight, and excursions included is $24,100. Uh, the flight would be out of uh, New York City at 7.15 p.m. Okay, yeah. Um, and the return flight would be um, at 9 p.m. Okay. And you'll get this in your confirmation as well. Okay. And um, would you prefer to pay for this all at once or do an installment plan leading up to the date of travel? Sure, we can do all at once. And can you confirm your credit card information with me? Yeah, I 
can only see the last four digits of the card you used last time, but it appears to match. Uh, and can I get the expiration date? And the three security digits. Lovely. And I can go ahead and process this right now. Here we go. I am extremely jealous of your vacation. I think you're going to have a wonderful time and definitely um, quite an experience with all of the tours and food tastings and everything. So that went through and um, let's see, I do have a confirmation code. Okay, so you already got the email. Wonderful. Okay, so you are all booked for this absolute luxury experience. If you have any questions up until the date of travel or even afterwards, um, you can give us a call and we can assist with that. If you want to make any modifications or add any excursions, we'd be able to do that as well. Okay. Well, thank you so much for your time and I truly hope that you have a fantastic vacation.